My name is Beatrice Edu. Thank you for joining us. Many workers in the public sector across the country are beginning the agitations in protest against increases in fuel, water and electricity tariffs. The Teachers and Educational Workers Union too is beginning today. The union is accusing the Fair Wages Commission of bad faith in negotiations to bridge the salary gap between senior and junior staff of public universities. Jifa Bampo has the rest of the story. Members of the Teachers and Educational Workers Union, Tewu, will not show up in the tertiary institutions where they provide support services. Tewu comes through with their threat following a warning served in August and November last year. Tewu Chairman Peter Lumo says the two year delay has forced their hand. In May 2015, Fair Wages, Tewu, Vice Chancellor's Ghana, we met. Tewu in a demand that the distortions that we have recognized, almost all the grades must be raised. Fair Wages are still and human resource directors represent VCG. So go and look at those issues. We went back, we looked at the issues, VCG wrote back to Fair Wages, what can be done? Since June, Fair Wages will not call for a meeting. In November, VCG wrote to Fair Wages asking for a meeting to resolve Tewu's issue. There was no answer. But it seems there is more serious trouble ahead. Offices of public sector workers will be clad in red as a big demonstration looms Wednesday. Kofi Asamoah is the Secretary General of the TUC. What PRC announced was 59%. Now the Energy Act has automatically put the opportunity for the ECG to add another 10%. And that is why prepaid people are complaining. It is now almost around 70%. And indeed, ECG considered at a meeting. The petroleum price hike is the second asking for with power. Employment Minister Haruna Idrisu insists halting the increases will leave nothing but dire economic consequences. The energy sector levy introduces one a price stabilization adjustment which will allow government to deal with the 4.5 billion outstanding debt. We've had to take those compelling decisions to put the economy on track and keep the sustainability of the energy sector utility entities running. Employment and Labor Relations Minister Haruna Idrisu ending Jifa Bampo's report.